Hi, this is Robin Moses, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on. It's inspired by crafts. I don't know. Anyways, I made a um, blue background, and what I did was I took a Wet and Wild Caribbean Frost and added white to it, and it turns it into this really shimmery light blue teal color. It take, it's really pretty when you add white to it. So then I'm going over that with red, and this is just a uh, OPI Berry Best, all the Berry Best. All the Berry Best. It's really bright red. So when you put the red over the top of the blue like that, it turns into a rust. So I made like a blue and a rust, and now I'm going to go in with some paint, and this is just a um, khaki color. And I'm going to do this and just make little areas where I add a little bit of khaki color here and there. And there's no, there's no set rhyme. I'm going to start adding to the fabric. So I'm going to turn each color into a fabric. So I have the blue here and I'm going to make a lighter blue right there, like this. And with that, I'm just going to make a cute little each little color is going to have its own little look. And then the, on the red, I'm going to do other red dots like this. Making somewhat of a patchwork look. And then on the ah, khaki, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. And like that. And then I'm just going to fill all of them in to where they all each have their own little colors. Okay, now um, I'm going in with um, a black with a little tiny bit of mustard mixed into it and I'm just going around like this and I'm making little dots on all the nails like this, alright? When it's all finished, it's going to look like this and that's going to be my, like, my background for the little buttons. So for the buttons, I'm going to mix mustard and it's just going to be a touch of mustard like this color. It's going to be right on the area of maybe, maybe with a little bit of a khaki mixed in. So it's about like this color. I want them to look a little bit like um, blonde wood, if, if you know what I'm talking about, kind of mustardy. So I'm going to go in like this and I was, I'm too far from the light. So here we go, like this, let it dry. Then highlight with the yellow, like that. And then you want to dot, 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 dot all around so it's kind of like all covered up in the center. I mean all around the center like that. Okay? Let that dry. Okay, so now for the last part of this part, I'm going in with a little tiny dotter. And if you have to, use a little tiny, tiny, tiny end of a toothpick and put in four dots like that. And then boom, 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 boom. And that, oh my gosh, it takes just a really sturdy hand. So steady hand, there we go, sturdy. Not very sturdy, just steady. Okay, get them all filled in, boom. Okay, so now I'm going in with a little bit of highlighting uh, mustard and white. And I'm going around so that all of these buttons look like they're, they've got a groove around them. That's, that's really going to make a difference. See that? Okay, then for the last step, and for my last trick, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in a little tiny thread. And I think that I'm like the craziest person alive to do this. But it's going to be like coming out from the button like this and it's gonna go in like that. So some of the buttons are gonna have like just one thread going through and just coming out like that. Just like there's some loose threads here and there. Oh boy, that's so cute. Then I'm a top coat. Today. So if you try these, please show me at Robin Moses fan page at Facebook. And I hope that you can see these really well. Let me try to get different colors on here. These are really, really cute, and they look like little, 
little quilting nails. That's what we decided. So, there. And let me change the light one more. All right, and I hope you guys like these and you um, learned something new, and I will see you back with more. Bye.